Open Broadcaster Software Studio, often known as OBS Studio, is an open source streaming and recording program. Many have found it's the best way to create live streaming quickly and even better for free. In this video from Envato Tuts Plus, we'll show you how to get started with streaming on OBS. Download and install OBS Studio from their website. It'll ask whether your priority is streaming or recording, so click Optimize for Streaming. You'll then get a new screen asking you to specify your video settings. The FPS, frames per second, will depend on the camera that you're using and what features it has. More FPS will give you a sharper image, whereas fewer will be softer. You can leave it on the suggested options unless you know that you would like to change something specific. The next option will ask you to choose where you want to stream, like YouTube, Facebook Live or Twitch, for example. You can connect your accounts at this time too. You'll need to put in a stream key to continue. This identifies your source so that you can stream to a particular website and you get that from the site you connect into. So if we look at Facebook Live, for example, you would go to your Facebook page, into Publishing Tools, then Videos, and hit the plus live button, which will give you your stream key. You're now ready to add video sources. If you were streaming a game, for example, two sources might be gameplay video and a live video camera on the gamer. Right click on sources at the bottom left of the screen and hover over add, or click the plus button to see a list of choices. OBS Studio will automatically set your default audio device and microphone from what it detects that you have. If you've got several options and you want to choose, you can go to File, Settings and Audio. You might have multiple audio inputs. If you were streaming a game on Twitch, you might want to keep the in-game audio and also have your mic live. The great thing about OBS is that it has an audio mixer, so it's really easy to add multiple sources and use the mixer to control them as needed. With any broadcast, it's wise to make sure that everything works properly before you go live. So remember to test your settings in advance of any live streaming. If you go to File, Settings, Output, you can choose exactly how your stream will record and output, so you'll have a copy of your broadcast for future use. If you choose Simple, OBS will work out the best settings for you based on what you have. You might want to increase the bitrate for the audio and video to increase the quality of the stream but make sure that your internet connection can handle it. Best practice is that the connection speed should be at least double your bitrate. You're all set up and ready to go with your live stream on Open Broadcaster Software Studio. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll join us for more tutorials here at Envato Tuts Plus.